today near to the ashram in the layout and all the kids has gone for cycling indu fell into a ditch and got hurt so i was sitting with indu because indu was having some pain and to divert the attention of indu pain i told indu look there and she looked that side and i said that is prime minister's post next to the chief minister's post next to that ias ks fda any post coming down the line if you just keep looking at that post even if it is prime minister's post keep looking and looking and looking a day will come that the prime minister's post becomes so close to you and you will get it is very easy and that tactic technique the japanese archery perfected so beautifully and the japanese archery how did they perfect it they give the bull's eye and it is as far as how the olympic archery could hit the bull's eye that distance and they allow you to keep looking at the archery in a most relaxed but conscious state a day will come when that bull's eye becomes so big and very close to the eyes even though it is far away you feel very close to you and you hit it hits the bull's eye 10 times is 10 times and from where this this archery people learn this tactic they learned it from in jain or yoga we have this practice of tridak tridak is you keep looking at a canton without blinking your eyes but in the most relaxed position and a day will come the eye becomes so powerful you can start looking at the sun some people looked at the sun directly they had eye problem not that sun you have to look at the early morning sun and then develop the eye power once you develop the eye power the old rishis and maharishis keep looking at you and then they can talk about your past present and your future just to one look it is not a something of a big nature and they told you when you have a sickness in the you keep all the concentration and look into that sickness and without any medicine the whole body army navy and air force of your body will go and rectify it it's so protective but when there is a chanchala and you have no concentration then you can never aim anything small kids discussion we had yes sickness is like that most of the sickness you can try and experiments of the experiments have gone yes keep looking at the sickness yes the whole concentration same tactic we used it in the rakum school when one child falls sick total school is shut down and everybody rushes up to the child and it is simple what the, what do we rush up? why do we rush up to the child <laughs> why should the whole school shut down just to remind the school if one sickness has come means a pint of shit in a cup of vanilla ice cream a small dirt a smallest rubber good penetrate through the smallest opening somewhere we there was an opening and the robbers have entered security has been breached and immediately the attack and what is the attack take all the bed pillows everything put it in the sunlight wash thoroughly the whole building is yes. and sprinkle rock salt water and take one handful of rock salt in throw it in every corner of the building and cut slice 
onions and leave it in every table, in every room. And then everybody, including the child, because it's a big festival. A, a sickness is a festival, yes. To plug all the loopholes. When you plug the loopholes, you save and then you can spend it, yes. If everybody understood one person's happiness, total house happiness. So one part of the body is happy, the whole body jumps, isn't it? So one part of the body is hurt, the whole body shuts down. So one person is sick, the total rakum school is shut down. Only cleaning. And then we found oh, certain areas under the court tables, everything is pulled and put it outside. MTR, there was a famous hotel in, or there is a famous hotel in Bangalore city called MTR. And Mavali Tiffin Room or something. It is in Lalbog, now it is many and many other places. The only one success story of the MTR is, morning before they start serving, they take all the tables, the total shop things and keep it outside publicly and thoroughly they clean with soap and then put it back. Once they put it back, by the time they put it, people are already in a big queue to eat that food. Same thing they repeat afternoon and evening. Can you believe? So people also know where there is cleanliness, there is godliness. God resides in that beauty means there is no disease. I was taken one Iranian group was my students and one day the Iranian students came and told me, Guruji, I'm going to Iran, what do you want me to bring for you? I said, only your love. <laughs> they were shocked. No, 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 tell me what you want. I said, no, only your love. And when they came back, they said, okay, you are not taking anything. So we will take you to one of the most famous shops in Bangalore. And they took me to MTR. I did not like the place. What is this? And they said the dosa is very, very tasty. I found the dosa is full of oil. <laughs> Man will die if we eat such kind of food. But people do not worry about it, whether they die. They look for cleanliness. Yes. Cleanliness is very much important. The whole Rakam school is taken out and they scrub it up, clean it up. And including the child, like the natural for the morning, Two full bucket of hot hot water, you must thoroughly cleanse it up. And evening also and walk as much as possible when you are sick and drink as much water as possible non-stop. So the whole Rakam school makes sure that they, they all take bath in rock salt water. The total school after cleaning up the whole building, yes. And everybody gargles them out the rock salt water, yes. After putting the sliced onion in every corner of the house. And if you get Gachala Niru, that is cow, that is naughty cow's urine. I told my kids, one cap of cow urine, mix it up with the six cap of warm water and you drink morning one. Mostly evening it is gone, that no, cow urine. And my children will laugh. But most of them come from the village. They tell you, what are you talking cow urine? I said, why? It's very good. I heard. So why don't we try it? We tried it. It was very good. And some of them were telling. Especially Padma came and told me, what in our mandi and all? Cow. When you are sick, my mommy will go directly, put the hand. We drink. Sickness gone. That is our medicine. Can you believe? Direct medicine. So Rakam School follows it up. Then I told them. Hindu, just concentrate on your pain. Don't participate, just look at the pain and the whole body will go and they rectify because they know you are a participant. When you have chanchala and you start eating and shouting and taking medicines, then he thinks, I, I am not needed. The body has got resistance, power and army. You should allow that army to penetrate deeper and solve the problems. And by the time everybody drinks a lot of water and takes scrubbed, uh, thorough scrubbed bath, by evening, <laughs> one person, one step leads to 10,000. One sickness leads to 10,000. Please try to understand. One person sickness, the house, the total house should get involved. Only then, 
we can say a family with six together, eats together, prays together, grows together.